Avery. Plane? I'm going on the plane, yes. Your hair looks fantastic. Sissy. That's a dog. Ruff. Ruff, that's a dog. Scary. It's not scary. Planes aren't scary. That right there is the worst part about going on these trips. It's awesome that I'm able, I'm fortunate to go on these trips. That's the worst part, is leaving Sarah and Avery. Ah, it sucks. Quit, quit. Okay, so apparently I didn't need any of this stuff right here. I went, went this morning, grabbed all my tackle. Well, not all of it, but just a good chunk that I thought I would need. This thing weighs at least 50 to 75 pounds, like easy peasy lemon squeezy. I was also just informed that the uh, pound line that I brought is not going to work. I brought 20 pound and then 65 pound braid or 60 pound braid or something like that'll work. 20 pound floor is not going to work. So now I got to respool everything that I respooled up last night with 25 pound minimum floor. We're going after the tanks down here. I'm also going to the cartel carriage, but it'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be good to go. But we got to catch all the big old, big old fat juicy bass. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, LFG's getting ready. Hello. He's getting ready to get it. We, we were just given a bunch of stories that I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. Guys have any uh, story? No. Oh. We're so jacked up right now. We're talking 50 pound bags is what they've been talking about. I'm international. I got me that good old fashioned. Oh, I heard somebody say they don't want me to say good old fashioned in the comments says, good old fashioned exit row, baby. Got a 100 pound bag of tongues in on me. That's no joke. It's good 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 thing I won't need it. Apparently the, the spinnerbait bite is on. Nothing like having a bunch of tungsten and no spinnerbaits. I'm not kidding either. That's not me trying to make a joke. <laughs> hey later, Dallas! Welcome to the Aero Pro Toro International General Rafael Bill. Basically, the airport in Mazatlan, Mexico. It is very warm. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I probably should not have wore a sweatshirt and uh, sweatpants. It's like 85 degrees out. I'm profusely sweating already. Not a good idea. Don't, don't, don't follow in what Robert's footsteps. At this, at this, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. It's really hot. This is actually where we're going. If you guys don't know who it is, where is it at? There it is. It's actually it's called Ron Speed's Adventures. It's like one of Winston's really good friends from back in the day. They run like a big thing here in Mexico. We're, we actually have like a three and a half hour drive from Mazatlan up into the mountains. It might get kind of crazy here in old Mexico. Heard the tequila is good though. Boys, I'm gonna tell you right now, boys and girls, when you get to Mexico, make sure to bring American money. You'll end up like Rob. <laughs> I brought some of this pesos. I bought some, well, I, I exchanged it, and mm -hmm. I just found out they're, uh, this is 500 pesos, which equates to about $50. It's and it'll not, cost you 200. I mean, it's a good deal. It's <laughs> not gonna get you very far. This is a very, that's not, that's $5? 35. Oh, this is $35. 35. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's worse than I thought it was. <laughs> See if they got any beans. Beans? Okay. All these guys are gonna get their tackle out of this random storage garage on the side of a really random. I'm gonna go get chicken. All right, let's see here. Uh, oh, wow, okay. Hey, how much for the chicken? Yeah, how much? One, I don't know what that means. One what? Uh, one dollar? No English, how about pesos? How many pesos? Pesos, cien. Cien. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, Holy crap, that was good. That was good. That's delicious. No, no. Thank yeah, you. I was eating some random meat off the side of the road. So I just paid 100 pesos on the side of the street for this, which equates to about $7. In America, this would cost... I need you to hold my camera for me. All right. This is $7. See all the beans, all that goodness. For all this. Dude, you got loaded. That's four pounds of meat right there. It's an entire chicken that's just chopped up with a giant butcher knife. What I was trying to trying to trying to trying to get on the camera here is the fact that yesterday, Mr. Favorite, you know Winston here, he he actually missed a yoke. Huh. May or may not have been the gun's fault. I, I I'm gonna recite it when I get back. Oh, but for that, you must eat a pepper. <sighs> How? <laughs> You can't throw it out the window. <laughs> it's like, oh, how is it? How does it feel going down? Good. Is it real hot? <laughs> Taste. It's a burning sensation in my eyes. I you were really burning something else. When I shit? Yeah. <laughs> I need an ice cream. <laughs> it's gonna burn on the way out, gonna, and you need gonna to burn use, the exit. He said you need to use ice cream. Whatever that means. 
<laughs> That'll work. Oh, what is going on here? We end up. Oh, hey. Oh, where are you going? All right. We are. So we're, we're in. Kosala. 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 We're in Kosala. We have been driving through the mountains for a couple hours and then just hit this beautiful place called Kosala. It is from 159. What did you say? 15, 1545. 1545. It's a build older than you, Winston. Mistakes were made. This thing was built in 1565. I want to make sure you guys know that. 1565. A lot of people have this misconception that there's a lot of violence or whatnot in, in, in Mexico. It's it's not true. I, I know I make the kind of joke, but it's 100% not true. We were actually like four and a half hours deep outside of Mazalan in the middle of nowhere, and I feel 100% safe. Good to go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. See you later. I'll tell you what, hey, we're real you nice here. We're good to go. We're good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got about an hour or 30 minutes left or something like that. I tell you what, these guys right back here with the guns, you see them? See those guys with the guns? Kind gentlemen, very nice. Took a photo with them. Very good. Oh, oh you gotta, you know, you gotta dive into the local culture. Say what's up. It's fun. I'll tell you what, it's safe. Just want to reiterate that a thousand times. We're good to go here. Yeah. Mande. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, where are we at? Just want to let you guys know what kind of fish we're dealing with. This is just over the last couple months. These are 10 plus, 10 plus, double digits only. And then it keeps going. And then it keeps going back over there. This place is pretty, pretty freaking nice. I'm telling you guys what, if you guys want to really come do this, you guys need to come here. These people know what the hell. Oh, Terry Oldham. Oh, it's you. It's you right there. Look at that. Ow. Oh, there's Steve Parks too. He's here as well with us. Look at the fish here. Oh my God. But here's the, here's the, here we go. Here's the lake, everybody. Lake Comadero. Comadero. This is where we're going to be fishing over the next week. Ron Speed's Adventures. I'm gonna catch a double digit. I'm gonna catch a double digit all right here. Somewhere here, somewhere on this map, Robert's gonna catch a double digit. Number three, it's gonna happen. I don't wanna be the guy to say this, but this is literally given to me and Rackley. Look at Rackley's already munching on. Oh, 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 oh! Tiffany already did. Thirty rods in that tube. Twenty, twenty-seven to be exact. In that black tube I just pulled out. Look at this. Oh, zombies are up. I've got wrap on the other end. Maybe they'll come out. Oh wow, we got a lot of different rods here. I brought twenty-seven different ones. No, oh, we're good. It's coming out like a like a well greased pig on Sunday. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. This is a beaut right here. All right, which ones you got for me? I only have four reels here. I think you brought enough rods though. Oh, these are different rods. These are ones. Oh, look at this. This is the Emperor. Hold on a sec. Oh, look at this. We got new rods. Okay, you guys know the Defender already, but look at this. What do we got? These are new ones they're starting to come out with. Come on. Let's see a little bit of focus action from you, camera. It's called the Emperor. I have never fished this rod before. Look at that. That is freaking sweet. Oh, my lands. This thing is beautiful. That's pretty sweet. So we got going on, we got a one ounce spinnerbait that's gonna be thrown in probably about 15 to 20 foot of water and just slow rolling it going doo -goosh, doo -goosh, doo -goosh, off trees. And then we got this for the morning time, good old fashioned, God, I gotta stop saying that. Big popper basically. And then a one ounce flipping jig, look at that sucker. Gosh dang, that thing looks tasty. We'll just put a trailer on the back. And then for the last but not least for tomorrow, since we don't really know exactly know, I got this. You guys know what this deal is right here? This is gonna be, I think this is gonna be the money maker if I can get it undone. It's a pegged three quarter ounce tungsten with a giant, well it's not really a giant, it's a six aught EWG super line hook. Ooh, look at that thing. Hello! That was so funny, I sneezed. What's the difference? You get that paper I gave you? I did. You need it back? Yeah. <laughs> It was a good fun day in Mexico. I want to tell you guys, I don't even know if I told you guys this about the peyote thing I bought at the gas station. Yeah, 100, like look at this. Something, what does it say? Gel de peyote. Uh, I don't really exactly know what's inside of it, but that's pretty much, well, Rackley used this stuff last time for his aches and pains. So I was like, you know what? I'll buy it off some random stranger at a gas station that's in the parking lot trying to fill up my tank. 
No idea why, but I did. How I was going to end this video and tell you guys we're after the donkeys, we're after the big ones. I'll be here for six to seven days. Probably won't have internet, so we'll just be upload these all together. Do yourself a favor, watch the video if you've not seen that one, then go ahead and click the one below it. If you've already seen the one above it, then you know what you need to do? You subscribe down below. I love it if you want to. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'm about to disappear right now.